Welcome back to my channel guys, what's up? So I'm here to do like a first impressions type of video. Yeah, this is like a first impressions type of video. And today I got this package from Beauty Bakery. Yes, it's the first time that I'm gonna be trying out um, this makeup brand. I'm pretty late, I know, <laughs> pretty late. Um, so this is what it looks like. This is what I got. I got foundations. I got like three different foundations here and three different concealers. This is the Insta Bake Aqua Glass foundation and the Insta Bake 3 in 1 concealer. The packaging is so nice. It has this iridescent like glow to it. It's really, really nice. I really like that. I like when companies take pride in their packaging so that's definitely a plus for me right off the bat from this three hopefully i can find one that matches and if i don't find one that matches hopefully i can mix and match but right off the bat i go for the one in the middle right here i want to wear this foundation for the entire day to see how well it holds up it's the first time i'm gonna be doing a video like this for you guys so um this should be pretty exciting because i want to go on the road and get some stuff done yes yeah, so we're gonna see how well this holds up it's now um well i think i should tell the time tell you guys the time when i'm finished with applying the makeup i didn't get my get a primer or anything so i'm gonna, gonna proceed to using my regular primer i'm gonna be using the it's you um primer today you guys know i have to make sure my smile lines are filled in properly w and all these shades are so close i feel like i'm going to try out 319 n it has a pump right there at the front this is how it looks i'm gonna go ahead and take one you guys know i'm not heavy-handed when it comes on to this when i do try out foundations for you guys so we're gonna see how okay so I, you know it's new so i have to be okay one pump is pretty tiny all right i never pump hard enough okay 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 hmm it looks a tad bit yeah it looks yeah it looks lighter Let's go ahead and try three, three seventeen W. I don't know for some reason three seventeen W looks darker. Well, yeah, well, no, it looks lighter than three fifteen W. I'm not sure. It could be me. This is three fifteen W and this is three seventeen W. And I don't know. Let's let's go ahead and try. Or maybe I should mix. I don't really want to have to mix. okay so that is 317w hmm. this is looking um yeah this is matching better this is so oh my i hope you guys can see this this is so nice the coverage is really nice that was only literally one pump yeah this is matching me really nice i really like that so we're gonna continue with that shade we, yeah we're gonna continue with that shade i really love the consistency the coverage is really nice like a little goes a long way and it looks like skin it's just like really really flawless like it's wild for me to be here telling you guys or reviewing foundation for you guys oh my gosh i really feel like you shouldn't like overdo it because a little goes a long way i honestly feel like probably if you apply too much of this formula like you could feel like caked face if you understand what i mean you know like some products you can like just tell like a little goes a long way and look at that 
look get into my skin <laughs> i definitely feel like the foundation is full coverage i feel like it a little goes a long way so you know you don't have to overload to get a nice flawless finish but now we're going to move on to highlighting so i can test out these concealers this is the size of the concealers oh and in for the foundation the amount we have it's we have 0.9 fluid ounces that's the amount that comes in the bottle concealers is 0.14 fluid ounces and we have three different shades as i said again so i want to highlight here so i feel like uh you have i got sugar daddy desert desertation and cream brew slay <laughs> All right, you know, I'm very much leaning towards Cream Bruce, Bruce Lee because it's like the lightest of the three and I want a popping highlight. This is Cream Bruce Lee. I could go with, um, I, and I feel like I'm also going to go with Sugar Daddies. This one is on the, is the darkest of the three, so I'm not going to go with that today. So I'm going to be using these two. I'm going to be using Sugar Daddy in like, these areas like my forehead bridge of the nose no not bridge of the nose but like my forehead and chin and then for my under eye i'm gonna use cream brusselet so let's test this oh it has a short thick wand to apply with and it's like cake butter <laughs> so oh this is very thick and creamy just like how i love my phone my not my foundation my concealers you guys know i love a good concealer since that's my normal daily makeup routine oh this is thick oh my god i probably applied a bit too much of this this is so thick this is definitely instagram ready makeup <laughs> wow this is i don't know this might become my go to concealer i don't know this is really nice this is really nice it is just covering up the entire area so flawless so, so flawlessly so you know this is definitely a full 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 coverage product definitely full coverage you see how it has my under eye popping like the entire area this formula is amazing it's like a whole second skin flawless it's like you're wearing a filter i'm gonna put a bit on my nose and then i want to go ahead with sugar daddy for my forehead not much just a test. So you see that's darker and a bit for my chin. I dragged some of what was under my eye onto my cupid's bow, so I'm good. Right there. They want to say, I, 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 I. She no bad man, they want to fail. Don't do that. Oh, you can't call me a bond for your head. But I don't do me a speech for I'm just going to set everything. I'm just gonna speed through these areas. I'm not gonna like speak th during these areas since the found um, the foundation is really the focus of this video. She give me bum me out, say she give me bum me out. Fine girl, I come in on me out. Say she bounce on the thing so, wine it on me thing so. Put the thing up on me thing, wine it on me thing so. I say she wine it on me out. Man, I give it to her one time. Say she want it one time, wine it on me out. Man, I step in the yard, man, it girls them say I I I I. I so I'm all done. Looks really good. Everything is looking super matte. I really love except for the highlighted areas of course i really love that but let's see let's put this to the test and see how it holds up for the rest of the day right now the time is currently 1 32 see if you guys i'm not sure if you guys can see that but it's 1 32 p.m see i'm gonna try to wear this as long as possible i'm gonna go on the road 
this foundation and concealer though is holding up pretty nice. How is it? Hours later, like, oh my gosh, it's exactly 9 p.m. Let me show you and see that it is. I've been wearing this makeup for basically eight and a half hours. No retouches at all. Usually when I go on the road and stuff, I don't usually put up, honestly. It, it would have to be a case of extreme creasing, which I don't usually experience or something like that but i haven't pat up my face with anything i don't like walking with anything but my lippy which is usually just my lip gloss so i went on the road you know got a lot done came back home was i filmed another video i went back on the road and then i came back home and now i'm here and i'm ready to take this makeup off i'm ready to take a shower and just get to some editing yeah so as you can see as you can see i primed i usually even though i prime i'll still crease but not as much the crease in this area the crease lines are there but they're not very noticeable like they're not like bam in your face like it's very minimalistic so that i love usually usually the the area that i watch most to get like really oily is like this area um yeah and i'm not experiencing too much as i don't it's it's dewy because after the makeup being on your skin for so many hours you know it's gonna seep in your pores and all your natural oils are gonna ooze out and it's going to look more like skin which is nice right now it just really look nice and dewy for eight and a half hours later so imagine if i pushed the limit and went to uh, 16 hours i feel like eight and a half hours is pretty good pretty good i don't usually even wear my makeup that long on a daily like honestly i think this is the first in a long time i've ever had my makeup on this long but it is i'd say out of 10 i'd rate the foundation i honestly it might seem like i'm guessing this a lot but this is definitely how i feel I'm gonna give it a 9 out of but I don't even know why I'm giving it a 9. I, I think it really deserves a 10 out of 10. Like it really it's really full coverage, it's matte, it's stayed matte, it is it looks like skin. As I said, naturally it's going to have a dewier look at but it doesn't look oily. It's it's really nice. And the concealer, the concealer is like beautiful. Again, I'd give that a 10. I think I definitely recommend this and let me remind you guys I wore this in the Jamaican weather current weather right now the Sun the heat on this side of the world is extremely hot please hot body so to wear makeup on for that long and have your face still looking really nice and slay without having to touch up is a plus is a plus so i would definitely recommend to anybody out there that is looking for a nice matte full coverage durable foundation and concealer i feel like this is a win yeah that's pretty much it i don't really want to drag this video out any longer i'm gonna go ahead and link um the foundation and concealer down below in the description box so you guys can check it out um but yeah that's it for today oh if you're wondering about my ponytail i've been getting so many questions about this hairstyle it's nothing new i was surprised that i'm even getting so many questions about it like a month or two ago i did a tutorial a detailed tutorial where i show you guys my how i do a low sleek ponytail with my natural hair slash some bundles and that's exactly what i did again i'll link that video down below yeah that's it for today i have nothing else to update you guys on go ahead and check out my vlog channel if you haven't already petit tv that's it for now and i'll see you guys in my next video so until then Bye.